Insights into the Mayawadi Conflict Myanmar Spring Chronicle April 21, 2024 by Momaka Multimedia The positions of some Karen armed groups remain enigmatic amidst the battles in Mayawadi City. In the early days of April 2024, as the summer heat approaches its zenith and El Nino looms, clashes between military council troops and KNU slash KNLA forces near Mayawadi in Karen State, in conjunction with the PDF Collaborative and Deke BA Colo Tubo, have intensified. Prior to the Thing and holidays, the KNU seized the strategic Thingon Nai Nong Battalion Camp, signaling their intent to capture Mayawadi before the festivities. Shortly thereafter, the KNU captured the military council's Kalaya 275 troop, also known as the city guard unit closest to Mayawadi. Reports suggest that some soldiers from this troop sought refuge under the Mayawadi Thai border crossing bridge No, with the assistance of the BGF armed group led by Sa Chit Thursday. Since then, observers have keenly followed developments in Mayawadi, pondering over who will assume control of the city. Questions abound regarding the whereabouts of military council troops and police forces, as well as the implications for border trade and city administration. Despite armed organizations roaming the streets of Mayawadi, no group has yet assumed responsibility for city administration. Civil administration departments, such as immigration at the Thai Myanmar border gate bridge, remain operational, albeit under the oversight of military council staff organizations. The main forces in Mayawadi, the KNU, and the KNA, which has evolved from the BGF, face questions about their intentions and potential divisions. Speculation persists regarding the fate of the remaining Kalaya 275 troops of the military council and their interactions with the KNA. Meanwhile, residents of Mayawadi brace themselves for the possibility of conflict, mindful of the potential devastation to their livelihoods and property. For armed groups, control of Mayawadi promises lucrative tax benefits, given its position on the main trade route between Myanmar and Thailand. As various Karen armed groups vie for control, questions arise about their unity and overarching goals. There have been numerous politically correct statements issued among the Karen armed groups, such as the assertion that the Karen people do not wish to engage in armed conflict with each other. However, bloody standoffs have consistently emerged over the past few decades. Incidents have occurred where multiple Karen armed groups, numbering two or three, have engaged in combat against one another. Such conflicts arose following the split between Deke BA and KNU, and again after the transformation into the BGF group, which restructured the local army. The use of divide and rule tactics by the Myanmar military has further exacerbated these tensions, leading to intergroup fighting during Myanmar's civil wars. Following the military coup in February 2021, the balance of political and military power in Karen State underwent significant changes from previous decades. Under the guidance of the KNU, and with the growing strength of the PDF column encompassing all Burmese nationalities, the KNU's control areas have expanded. Despite these developments, organizing unity among the Karen armed groups remains challenging in recent times. Consequently, the question of who will govern Mayawadi town remains elusive, defying easy answers. Furthermore, it is worth noting that while there is increasing domestic and international interest in the plight of the Karen people, Discussions concerning the goals of the Myanmar Spring Revolution and the collective activities of the Spring Forces are not intertwined with the Karen's battle over Mayawadi. This disconnect represents a setback for the democratic federal aspirations of the entire Myanmar nation, instead reflecting the narrow interests of a single ethnicity. The crucial question remains whether this situation will culminate in a negotiated settlement with the warring factions of Karen armed groups, akin to the military council.